Hey Aries Collective, what's up y'all? Welcome to the channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope y'all are doing well. Let's get your love messages. Aries Collective, love messages for the Aries Collective spirit. What's the current energy for Aries in love? We have feminine, divine feminine, Taurus Libra energy. That's the Empress. Okay. And you are the emperor, right? So this is your divine feminine or you are the divine feminine. Take it how it resonates, what you don't see coming. Stability, harmony, and flow. Wow. Some of you could be connected to another Aries. What's the biggest challenge for you and this person or in love in general? Or what has been? Storm, unexpected. Wow, a tower moment happened. Could have been a sudden, a sudden ending. With another Aries or Taurus, I mean, oh, Taurus, another Aries or a Scorpio. What's your outcome? Well, some of you didn't expect to catch feelings or they didn't expect to catch feelings for you. The outcome is guarded vulnerability and reverse. I feel like someone's ready to let their guard down and open up. Overall energy is the Ace of Pentacles. Pisces just got that card in the same position. You could be connected to a Pisces. This is Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy, and this is about stability, a stable offer, security, a long-term connection. I love it. So you could be on the Aries Taurus class. Let's see what the divine feminine is all about in the Karen energy. What is divine feminine energy all about? I'm getting too old for these games. I don't want to grow old alone. Okay. Somebody's realizing it's time to grow up. And they like, look, when you know younger, we might as well do it. I hate that song. <laughs> I hate that. I know they meant well when they wrote that song, but those lyrics said, I'm just like, I'm settling for you. When you know younger, we might as well do it. I don't think that's how your person feels, but <laughs> that song just came to me. Yeah, somebody's ready to grow up. They're ready to become divine as opposed to distorted, okay? Show me stability, harmony, and flow, which you don't see coming. Acting unbothered. This is a Libra or a Gemini suffering in silence, block or stalemate. So this is what's been going on with this person. Nothing's been going on with this person. <laughs> and yeah, like I said, there was a sudden ending for a lot of you. And you didn't even know why. Um, something unexpected happened and this person acted like they didn't care. Or maybe that was you. But things are stabilizing. Things are becoming more harmonious between the two of you. Yeah. Somebody is diving into their emotions. Look at this. Yeah, and letting their feelings flow. Sorry, y'all. My timer was going off. Okay, so let's see. What's this tower moment as the challenge? That's chaos and upheaval and a sudden shift, a paradigm shift. Or an ending. A fragile connection that couldn't stand. A divorce, a breakup, separation. We have waiting my turn, patiently waiting. This is the temperance card, Sagittarius energy. Um, calm, serene, tranquil, careful and considerate. Somebody was moving too slow for the other person. Don't know if it was you or them. It could be a Sagittarius. Somebody was moving too slow for the other person and it ended unexpectedly. It ended quickly, but it was moving slowly. Show me guarded vulnerability in reverse. I, I don't want to take that card because I didn't like how that fell out. Let's try that again. Now, if it comes out again, I'll take it. But okay, what is guarded vulnerability in reverse? Let your guard down. Banging body. <laughs> okay, let me get another one. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. So somebody has a nice body. I'll never stop loving you. Okay. Somebody like the way you look too, Aries. But um. Yeah, someone's letting their guard down because they're realizing they want to dive into these emotions. You got this person's head in the clouds, crushed, infatuated, in love with you, fascinated by you, daydreamy. Flirty communication may be coming in. Expect a small gesture. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio who could be younger than you. Mm. Yeah, but they're thinking about forever. Guess I'm thinking about forever. Hmm. What is Frank Ocean? Frank Ocean is a Gemini. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Gemini because he, that song, 
just popped in my head. <laughs> Somebody's thinking about forever with you. Show me I'm getting too old for these games with Divine Feminine. I don't want to grow old alone. Who is this? Who would who this be? The temperance. Mm hmm They coming back. You have the temperance right here. This this slow moving person. Because I don't think it's you that's moving slow. It was them that were, that were, uh, were moving slow. Number 14. 14 could be significant. Keep it chill. This is a laid back person, y'all. And you know, Aries, y'all fire. Y'all y'all about passion and action and movement and confrontation and all of that. And it's like this person is all laid back and chill. Cool as a cucumber. <laughs> yeah, but they're ready to settle down. They see you as a soulmate. You give this person a lot of peace. Show me stability, harmony, flow with acting unbothered, which you don't see coming. The Ten of Cups. Look at that, y'all. The proposal. Happily ever after, your happy ending is right here. With a Pisces for some of you or some of you on that um, Pisces Aries cusp. Show me the storm, unexpected feelings, waiting my turn. Temperance energy is a challenge. The producer, the magician. This has been, it's felt like a waste of an opportunity. Not being able to manifest it. Trying to manifest it, but not being successful. Gemini Virgo energy. See, some of y'all were trying to take it in your own hands and make it happen, but this person was moving too slow. The magician is about going for it confidently, you know, getting what you want. Show me guarded vulnerability and I'll never stop loving you. Outcome. Got another major arcana. How many do you have? You have three. You have the high priestess. Guarded vulnerability. Very intense, hidden feelings, though. Some of y'all, this is a cancer. It says the advisor. Someone could have told this person they need to open up and let you know how they feel. I think there are elements of themselves that they keep hidden from you. Bottom of the deck. Here we go. To be continued, the cliffhanger. This is the hangman. You got all this major arcana. So this person has definitely got a new perspective on this. They want to come back. They want to pick up where you two left off. And they will. Could be a Pisces. That's the end of your reading. Like, comment, subscribe, y'all. I think, um, I don't know. I don't think I have any more messages for y'all. I think that pretty much says, you know, everything that needs to be said, right? To be continued. It ain't over. It says the cliffhanger. So maybe, right, like I said, you two may not be speaking right now. Um, but they're ready to confess their love to you. They're getting too old to be playing games. When you're no younger. Let me stop, y'all. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.